Hey Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, so let's get your reading started for January 2019. If, if I said 2018, then, you know, I screwed up. Big deal. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's see what's going on for Aries. I have this big cord in my way. Hold up. Yeah, I'm sitting on the floor today. How about that? I was stretching a little and then, um, no, I wasn't. That's a lie. I just wanted to sit on the floor. All right, let's see what's going on with Aries. Aries, 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 Aries. Ooh, the Hierophant. Nice. Crossed by the Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups. I feel like I want to just pull these out here. Wheel of Fortune. The Past. Four of Wands. Hey, wait, can you guys see these? Judgment. Oops, judgment goes there. Okay, I'm all messed up. Four of Pentacles. Two of Wands. The Empress and the Outcome. Oh, these both fell out. Okay, I'll take it. I don't want to take it, but I'll take it. Okay, past position. Wheel of Fortune. Something was in your favor, Aries. Something was going good for you in the past. Maybe you came into some money. Um, first, let me call out. Water sign, Taurus. Yeah, okay. But again, like I say, don't focus on the signs because then you're just going to be like, oh, but that's not my person. You know what? You know who your person is. Listen to the message. Focus on the energies. Let's see what this Wheel of Fortune was all about. Okay. Oh, look. Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck. Overall energy for the new year. Fantastic. Okay. Past position, Queen of Swords. Male or female? Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person was significant in your life in the past, okay? Um, significant in the way that they brought favor to your life. Okay, some of you are listening and like, no, that mf -er cheated and did this and did that. Okay, well, if that's the case, then, you know, maybe that was a benefit for you in some way. Maybe that was something that you needed to have happen so that you knew what to do from that point on, okay? Of course, you know, heartbreak, heartbreak can be... Um, painful. We all know that. But, you know, there's always a lesson in something, a silver lining. So if you're able to look back on a situation and, you know, say, you know what? Yeah, that sucked. No, that didn't work out. But I learned something from it. Then you're the better person. Then you're the one who's got that growth going. You know what I mean? I mean, how are we going to grow if we never have any pain? Okay, well, that sounds very sadistic, so I don't really mean that. We can grow if we make the choice to grow, but our experiences teach us, good or bad, all right, negative or positive. So the Ace of Wands fell out here. <clears throat> Growth, that's what I was talking about, okay? This person, whatever the situation is or was, this person brought some type of growth to your life, okay? Whether it was what you wanted or not, it was something that you probably needed, Okay, um, they were truthful, they were probably a little harsh, possibly a little cutting, but um, the Queen of Swords is a truth teller. Okay, so whatever this person's connection to you in your past, whatever they brought to you uh, helped you grow, either spiritually, uh, in a physical way, in a mental way, whatever whatever kind of way it was, there was growth from this person. Okay, so the current position here is the Hierophant. Um, and I was speaking about spirituality. So in for some of you, that's where you are right now. You are definitely in this place where you have had spiritual growth by someone else's influence. The Queen of Swords can be very influential in her speaking abilities and the things that she says. 
So now you're in this place. Maybe this person like was supporting you on a spiritual path in some way, male or female, whatever, whoever it could be. Um, the challenge, though, is for you to keep this going. Okay. Now, from a more romantic sense, I feel like there was a sexual connection with this person in the past, okay, that was very favorable for both of you, okay. The challenge now is to get that connection from sexual to, you know, now bringing, to have it progress, to have this relationship progress to a more, you know, committed type of a situation, marriage type of a situation. There's a challenge in getting this off the ground right now, right? So you might still be connected to this person in a, you know, type of relationship not necessarily exclusive to some degree or maybe it is but you know the the challenge is to try to get it more stable which is what I see with the higher font more um, to go from a strictly sexual or just mostly uh, fun to a more permanent state more exclusive state current state okay this is, is what I see that you want here you've got the four of wands so you know you want that family reunion, you want that connection, you want that family, happy marriage kind of thing. And you're really in tune with how you feel about that. Because the Queen of Cups, she holds this major cup, which is like, you know, this is like the Ace of Cups. This is what she wants. You are definitely seeing a potential here with this person that, wow, there could possibly be more. So whatever the connection is with this person, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't sexual, there was some type of growth that, that was influential from this person that helped you to change and grow and you're actually seeing wow there's actually potential for more between us okay if you haven't been talking to this person i do see reconciliation coming in the near future with them um i also feel like you're both either you or this person is going to actually open up about you know their flaws, their faults, the things that they've had happen to them, you know, what they're looking for. They're, I'm seeing some progress here with this and their strength. Yeah, definite communication coming from this person and communication between both of you happening in January. Okay. <clears throat> now you're in position of you, your advice, you've got the four of pentacles. So don't, you know, vomit everything right at the mouth as soon as you meet this person. You know, you can share things with them, but do keep yourself a little bit protective of your heart and your emotions and what you want because it's, this is a slow process. You don't want to connect with this person and, you know, you guys, you see this poten potential and then you spill the beans about every single thing that's ever happened in your life. You remain to have some type of like mystery about your your past every not everything needs to be known right away you can take your time i do see this person wants partnership though with the two of wands definitely um they want growth and expansion with you so you're feeling it they're feeling it this is important to them they put in effort in relationships whoever this person is they want to try to make something work with you so I do feel like it's a good thing and you have that reassurance here now so you don't have to worry, you know, about saying anything. I just feel like there's, there will be some type of a conversation between the two of you. Um, the Empress is here, so, you know, birth and new beginnings and this is what you're hoping for. Maybe some of you, if you're younger, would like to have a baby or Maybe you'd like to be a grandmother. Some of you just, you know, you want to have that new beginning, that birth, that beauty, that love. You want to be the empress. You, this is what you're hoping that they view you as or that they see you as. The outcome is the three of swords and the three of pentacles. So there will be communication about past heartbreaks that you've both had. There will be communication about what you're doing with your lives, what your life was like with your family. Nothing too horrible. Somebody did get cheated on in their past. Wow. That's crazy. Now the three of wands. So we're sitting here with three, three cards. This is massive communication. So there will be a lot of communication and opening up with each other about, you know, what you're both looking for and what you both want. So for some of you, this could be a new connection or someone that you've known in the past that now it's beginning to grow. Okay. There you go. Ace of Cups. 
There's definitely potential here for you, Aries. You have a lot to look forward to in January. Even if this is just a friendship or this is just a connection or someone new coming in or someone that you've known you've been connected to for a while, I feel like everything is going to start getting better for you guys. Let's see what your love message is here. Forgiving and learning. Letting go of your past stuff, your past junk. You've got new stuff going on here. So if you forgive and learn from your past, there's no need to like rehash it all with someone new or, or the same person to go. Don't spend time going over all the bad stuff that happened. Focus on the new and the positive. Okay, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know it was short and sweet. We got holidays to do here. So I will see you guys in February. Take care. Bye.